Well, people's, you know, I don't think she, people, any individuals should change their own mind about what is acceptable in Canada or in the United States. We should still maintain our own values, our own uh, sense of uh, uh, propriety. But uh, uh, right now, the job is to uh, respect the democratic decision of the American people and move on with it. Should businesses that depend on cross-border trade uh, be concerned, especially in like well, comes? It's not. To- yeah. But, President-elect Trump said it's not business as usual, so they, you know, we've got, uh, but every day is not business as usual. I, I, I dealt with 300 Buy American provisions when I was ambassador, 200 of them initiated by Democrats, 100 initiated by Republicans. So I think you've got to, uh, there's no such thing as a, in, a, in a $2 billion trade ag- agreement per day. Uh, we can't rest on any laurels, but we should make the point over and over and over again, we buy more goods from the United States than the whole European Union put together. We've got to repeat that over and over and over again. The only way to deal with a populist message on trade from one direction is to have an equally positive uh, message on trade from our direction. We're your biggest customers. Buy from us. Uh, we'll sell to you. And uh, that's how it works. I'm an optimist, always have been. I believe that uh, uh, the United States has a real desire to get things done in Washington. Uh, President-elect uh, Trump um, had some pretty yeah, interesting things to say during the election campaign, but he prides himself of being a deal maker, and I think there will be an attempt in Washington to end the gridlock and uh, come to common agreements on budgets and and different uh, different matters. So. Uh, I'm a uh, eternal optimist and I believe I'm going to take the optimistic view.